you are able to activate deeper parts of the brain. Cold is my warm friend. Activates the adrenaline and resets the body. Cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. We are built to be able to adapt. Going back in our primordial state. They looked inside of my brain, highlighting the prefrontal cortex. We lost the full power of the mind. And I'm here to bring it back. feel anything but you learn to let go you follow the breath and thus the hormonal system the endocrine system which we have shown in scientific research is really active within your command and with that comes the adrenaline the epinephrine the opiates and the cannabinoids all right now I have a they are very strong if you go into the, to the ice you're really not thinking about your mortgage or your wife or this or that you're not going to picnic. You feel, the focus will be on your feeling. How to get this feeling into adaptation and to overcome whatever is coming. And it goes directly. And I tell you, the, the cold has been my teacher. I just followed the teacher, the feeling, uh, learned to let go. Intuitively, I felt, I want to do this. I did yoga, I did kung fu, I did all kinds of things and, and uh, uh, great. But the cold is really merciless but righteous. And I was ready to go in. I felt intuitively I want to go in because it has got something. I don't know what it is. And yes, I went in and I felt it. The connection was there beyond any word. And that's what I was looking for. This tapping into deeper parts of the brain, feeling, pure energy, feeling, power, innate capacitated power we have to deal with that. I did crazy stuff, really. Uh, sitting all the night in, in, in your shorts outside in freezing temperatures and feel great. That is something, that is power. And I've been venturing and discovering more and more. And finally, I began to realize, but it's all in the mind. Oh yes. So learning to let go in the right way, following your breath. The breath is able to uh, prime uh, the body and then your mind, the neurology of the mind, if I'm able to make my skin temperature not going down while being exposed to ice cold water, skin temperature, that's power. And that power is the same power we can learn to embrace and awaken uh, in which we are able to tackle any stressor in the world. Any stressor emotionally and physically. We are built to be able to oppose that, to get through and to learn and not to be afraid because we have the power of the mind. This is the way I started. My wife jumped from an eight story down in 95, four children, had no money, just there with four children. My children made me survive and nature healed me. And that was the cold. Because in the cold, you shut up. And all this turmoil, the emotional confusion, the broken heart, it's all physical, it's all real. The cold is able to shut it up, shut it down and survive. And with that, I came slowly but surely in control over my emotions. And uh, now I'm able to make uh, people aware of that capacity, even without uh, cold showers and all that stuff. But that's where it came from. Now, I was powerless then with my wife, from being powerless to power. And I'm a dropout from school. I'm teaching professors and doctors now all over the world. And they say, after seeing the results of me in the brain scans and the way I activate uh, parts of the uh, brain thought of impossible by humans, they say, this is a transformational technique that will change mental health care. 
and we see it. The power to adapt to the stressor in general, we lost this connection is because we wear clothes all the time and we live in a comfort zone behavior. We think we can control nature, but by being non-stimulative in our behavior, we lost the connection in the depth of our physiology. Because we are able to adapt about to anything. We are built to be able to adapt without stress into any stressful situation and get a solution. The body knows, but because we got into this comfort zone behavior hundreds of years, our genetics have changed, our physiology has changed, everything has changed. And we lost actually the full power of the mind. And I'm here to bring it back. Uh, I did many studies already because I don't like speculation. I go through study, the scrutiny, and let any scientist prove me wrong because I like to go through the truth because I think there is more than meets the eye. We changed medical history by showing a group of people compared to 16,134 people becoming sick after injection of a endotoxemia and then suddenly 1200% score within a quarter of an hour, complete control over the innate immune system and the specific, by the way, the adaptive immune system. And how did I learn to do that and to pass it on? Because it's already there in us. It only needs to awaken. For that we have the breathing exercises, and it has been shown in the comparative study. All the guys who did the breathing exercises, the endotoxin normally creates inflammation, uh, and thus uncontrolled shivering, uh, all over agony, headaches and uh, fever. And the people really get sick after injected, uh, being injected with the bacteria, E. coli. And that's normal, but it was not normal to be able to inoculate that reaction. How did we do that? By breathing exercises that are like a controlled hypoxia, where through the brainstem, the fight and flight suddenly activates the adrenaline and resets the body. And resetting the body is going past our comfort zone uh, conditioning, going back in our primordial state, the way nature meant it to be, and that is being able effectively to battle this is very simple, very effective, very accessible for any human in the world. We all are able to battle inflammation, to have a control top down in our body much more than we thought possible. At least to be able to guarantee happiness, strength and health, which is all related to hormones and the control of the immune system and nervous system. And we got uh, the innate capacity to enter into any part of our brain. And now we have shown to get into the deepest. And with that, we become the commanders of our own mind and body. So actually, we are mammals. We are about, you know, uh, we are built after millions of years uh, as mammals. Uh, if your geology is inside, the wiring and everything is inside. And three times the world's length is vascular systems inside of us. Killer number one in our society is cardiovascular related. It's big time. So there is a mediocre state of our vascular uh, conditioning and that, uh, uh, for that we take cold showers. Uh, then, There's uh, some shock to the system that does Yes, hormesis. Uh, we do it consciously and with that we connect even with the brain, with the vascular system all over. And it's amazing how simple it can be, how simple we can ta tackle this serial killer, the cardiovascular related diseases. We can tackle it in a cold shower a day, keeps the doctor away. A robust activation of the uh, uh, PAG, which is part of the brain stem, that is the deepest part of the brain, the fight and flight, the survival, but also the area of the hormonal a periaqueductal gray hemisphere, which is responsible for the activation of opioids. And we got an epidemic on opioids, isn't it? But we don't know how to tap in and to make these opioids uh, work uh, for us. Again, it's like painkilling, analgesia, natural ones, 
very strong inside of us. We lost the connection, but now it is here. And the other one is the euphoric hormones, or the cannabinoids, endocannabinoid system. Both are there and they saw me activating for the first time in medical science uh, robustly into that area. That's why it did not only solve the stressor from not being cold, it was warm. And the professors, they had a, a, a difficult time putting more ice in the water because I was warming up the water oh. and I was doing nothing. That is the power of our mind. And what I can do, anybody is able to do. So, when people are depressed, or bipolar, or anxiety, or fear, or trauma, or PTSD, it is stress, and they cannot break the loop. I tell you, we found the key to break the loop. That's where I am right now with the science. And now this needs to be implemented for those in need. And there are many, many in need. All the problems in the world, we have a system inside, in willful possible command, if we only exercise and awaken to it, to handle anything that comes to us. Because that's the way we were built. Not hopeless, full of hope. And not 20% of the brain capacity within our command, but 100. And there it is. And with 100, we find freedom. Because we can go anywhere without fear, because we are in control. And children know, they are naturally still at the core. We got alienated, they are still there, they are born with it. We should never go away, because that unconditional love, unconditional power to be held strong and held and happy, doesn't need six cars or 10 houses. No, it's already there. And with that, we don't, we go away from this possessive way of thinking and, and insensitive, trying to find a position to secure our life and all that, fear-based. No, you have the full control of your own mind. We were born with it, and we never are going to teach our children again to become narrowed in their consciousness, but learn from uh, the beginning to expand to its all. And that's the real school of life and where in the soul is a flower and it's amazing.